What's up guys, welcome back to another vlog. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. So the other day I was thinking, I've owned both a 350 and a 370Z, and it got me thinking, the differences between the two and why I made the upgrade, and whether it was worth doing the upgrade. But first, I thought we should jump into why I actually bought a 350Z in the first place. But before we do that, here's a little bit of roll of my 370 that I wanted to do for, you know, fun, see how it goes. So I'm completely and utterly useless at filming vlogs on the same day. It's about a week later since I filmed the intro and the B-roll. Which would have been super cool to have a 350Z for that B-roll, given that these vlogs more about the my personal preference of going from a 350Z to a 370 and if it was worth it. Um, I should probably start talking about with how I got the 350Z in the first place. Um, initially I didn't know anything about the car. Uh, I didn't know the difference between a DE, a rev up, an HR, or anything like that. Um, I actually put in a down deposit on a Subaru Impreza, um, which all my mates like, oh, you get that one, that'll be the best one. But I, I really like the look of a 350Z. So I, I really wanted the, the 350. Um, so I ended up just test driving it and I fell in love. And basically I went, screw the Impreza, I'm getting the 350Z. Um, my main thing when I was looking at cars was just something that actually looked nice, given that I was driving around in this wing road that was run down, and I wanted something that was, to me, looked cool. So I went and got the 350Z. After I got that, I fell in love. So, yeah, here we are now with a 370Z. They're awesome platforms, and they're great. 350Z for me was super reliable. I had an 05 DE, so the power wasn't as good as obviously the rev ups and the HRs, and nowhere near as good as the 370 is. But to make that turbo or put a supercharger on it, it's quite a bit cheaper. So I think if you're going for a 350Z and you want to slap a turbo straight away, DE is probably a good platform to go for. Um, in terms of how it handled as a stock car, it was pretty good. As mentioned, wheels and tires and everything. It was a pretty smooth car. I'd probably say it put it up to like a kind of a stock 370Z level from... That's where I think I put it up to. Obviously, the cars being a 350Z, a lot of people think you're a douchebag for owning a 350Z. So I don't like that kind of aspect about it um, when you go to all the hate for just owning a 350Z. Once it went up to a 370Z, that hate kind of dropped. People are giving you, know, people look at the car and go, damn, that's a nice car. So I like that, personally. The power differences between a DE and a VHR is huge. I put my foot down on this and it throws you back in your seat, whereas the 350Z didn't really do that. Well, it kind of sounded nice. It had a cool exhaust on my one. Uh, in terms of why I went from a 350Z to a 370 is... My mum was actually looking for a sports car after driving the 350Z because she never got anything like that. So she was looking at a GD86, 370Z or a Mustang. Uh, she ended up going for the Mustang. But I was like, I liked the 370Z. So my mate actually ended up picking up one. And I have a thing for seats and steering wheels. So I sat in the 370Z. And to me, the comfort of the 370Z seat and the steering wheel... It's much better. The interior in the 370Z is far superior. It's great that they upgraded the paint and everything like that, and the interior doesn't scratch like the 350Zs do. So, quality-wise, this car's to me, it's a better quality car, um, and you, uh, it looks better to me. And I love the music kit. That's like the affordable dream, dream car for me. So that's the route I'm going with this car, and that's why I kind of upgraded, just because I kept on seeing the music kits and the 370Z just better suited what I was wanting from a car. I think that they're both really good cars, um, so 
350Z is a great car for if you've got the budget. 370Z is just a better car all around, I would say. Unless, of course, you're looking at drifting, in which case the 350Z is probably a better car to go buy because it's cheap and more parts around as opposed to 370 where, especially in New Zealand, you don't really see 370Zs around at all. I'd say you, in New Zealand we see more Mustangs than we do Zs, which is quite funny. So I do want to state again that this is more of just a personal preference thing. I haven't actually driven a 350Z in, in like two years, so it's quite hard to remember a lot of the qualities that I liked about the car and a lot that I didn't like about the car. Overall, I'd say it's 100% worth going from a 350Z to a 370Z. Like, the gas mileage is basically the same. You get a more powerful car and the gas mileage is better. Other good thing is the bar at the back, the... Uh, can't remember what it's actually called, is gone, so you actually have more space in the boot, which is awesome. Um, it was really annoying trying to get some things into the back, which is a bit of a ridiculous complaint given that it is a sports car, but it is kind of obviously nicer to be able to fit some simple things that you want to just be able to put in your car, whereas the 350Z struggled to fit those things in. If you do like this vlog, please do like and subscribe. Later.